Hi, I'm Kel Kellogg. On February 25th, I headed out on Sassoon Bay with Captain David Hammond of Delta Pro Fishing and five fish niffer supporters. Dave anchored the boat near the mothball fleet and we got down to business. Never Don't let it go yes, slack. Do not ever no. let it no go No barb on that hook. Yeah, you gotta put it. In the early afternoon, Mike Teeter hooked into his first ever keeper sturgeon, and we gave him a lot of advice as he battled the fish. If you've never done it, cleaning a sturgeon is an intimidating task. At the end of the trip, Captain Hammond demonstrated how to properly fillet a keeper sturgeon. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> hey, my name is David Hammond, Delta Pro Fishing. I'm going to show you how to clean a sturgeon. There's a lot of variations to this, but I think everybody's kind of adapted to this new style. It's not like the old school, you used to pull the umbilical cord and stake them. We just fillet them out. Kind of a little bit more complicated version. So what did, what did you do right there, David? A, a salmon. Taking the scoots off the side, this is better for later on. And the scoots, when, if you've never caught a sturgeon, they're bony hooks that grow along the yeah, sides and the back of the fish. Exactly. Basically like their scale. So we're taking them off so when we fillet the fish out later, then we get a nice flat fillet. If you have these scoots on there, sometimes when you take the meat off the, the skin, it could actually chunk out the uh, meat. So we're just making it where when we take it off the skin, it comes off we just take the fins off, it makes it easier. It's a little bit smaller one, so it makes it easier to flip them around. Take these bat scoots off. Like that, come down here. Don't go all the way through. Get the bottom guy off too. here you know back when I was a kid we'd take forever just to clean one sturgeon now it's like I don't know finally got smart about it all right so that's it's all prepped up now we're gonna just fillet the, the fillets right off the sturgeon now with this sturgeon a little bit smaller sturgeon the fillets aren't as big so you wouldn't necessarily have to do this technique as filleting them both at the same time. But I'll just show you this way, because if you have a bigger sturgeon and you get the fillets going down one side, the fish will want to fall to that side. So I'll just show you for every sturgeon this technique will work. We got this line down the middle. Just want to go on one side of the line. Push it down till you feel the top of the rib cage there where that spinal cord is. It's like so. Get that side started and come to the other side. Right down. Nice. Like so. Then come back to this side. You don't get that. If it's a bigger fillet, it'll start to lean. You know, you get that sturgeon lean into a side and it makes it really hard. Some guys just fillet them right off the side. Just this is a technique that I use. Just keep them going on both sides at the same time. So you're letting the bones guide the knife down through? Yeah. Rib bone there. Yeah. Going right on the outside of it right there. And the fillet will just fall right off of there. Keeping it balanced. Get down to here. Go through, finish that off. If you look on the bottom side, this bottom row of scoots right there, that's the bottom of your fillet. So basically you get them to that point and then you can just go right through down to that line. Cut down to that line. Keep the guts kind of right in there. So I'm just following the rib line all the way down. And I'll push through. 
that. Same on this side. Now, would you check it for row before discarding the guts? Uh, it would be pretty obvious when you, okay. you can tell. Let's pick it up. Come over here. See for that fillet up. Right along that bottom line of scoots. All this stuff in here, it's no meat there. Just the rib bone and then the, uh, the guts. So that's one side. Wow. This got the fillet. Beautiful, and that's what the fillet should look like. You shouldn't see any blood. Always bleed your fish. Bleed that sturgeon as soon as you put it in the box. Follow this other one right down that bottom scoot line. Boom. So there you are. Okay, all this is just, it's nice, it keeps the guts in there. There's that core. That's garbage. All right. And my hands get kind of slick, so instead of uh, trying to hold the fillet, I put this little clamp on my board here. Makes it kind of nice. Just cut a little, little wedge in there. Wrap it on, pull it down tight. I just usually do about hand lengths. Don't go all the way through the skin. It's like this. And remember, we took those scoots off earlier. Mm -hmm. we took the scoots off the side. So this makes this process to where you don't go through that skin. Just come down here. I got it pinned here. Some guys just hold it. My hands usually get pretty slimy, so it makes it tough to hold it. <laughs> just follow it right on down. Oh, and look at that beautiful meat. Woo! You got a bag. Holy smokes, that's kind of a big bag. Let me oh, okay. <laughs> little bags. Why don't you pull one of these off for me? Okay. Open her up. And that's what we got. Yep. Don't want to get too close to the skin because once again, you know, you get that red. You don't want any color, it's just white fillets. Like that. Stacked up. Nice. Sturgeon for dinner. Sturgeon din din. One bag. So that's just the skin on that. Garbage. This bad boy. Same thing, kind of started over here. As you can see, there's a tremendous amount of meat on a, even a small keeper sturgeon. You're getting several meals out of one of these fish. Yeah. There's a lot of meat. Really nice with that little clamp there. Yeah. Boom. Boom, that's it. Pretty easy. Thanks Done. a lot, Captain Dave. Done by the no expert. Problem.